hello everyone welcome back welcome back to the channel it's Azine Tarot we are gonna get into Gemini reading today hi gems how are you so let's just see what we have for you gems these are all general reads and messages already coming out um let's just see what we have for you here all right these are all generals and all the information for personal reads will be in the description box hello all right, so let's just see the energy pull for gems. Gems. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, what is the message for Geminis? For Geminis. Message for Geminis. King of Cups. Then, okay, hold on now. There is, um, there is something that you're worried about. This is what I'm seeing. This could be someone that you really like. This could be someone that you gave your heart to. This is what I'm seeing here. This relationship is scaring you because it's just unbalanced or this person is just trying to make the moves here and it's not enough for you. Like they're trying to be in charge. And you just know something is up. You know something isn't right. This is what I'm seeing here, gems. With the four of pentacles, and then you have the seven of swords. This person lied to you before. They cheated on you as well. And I'm also seeing the three of pentacles. And it's like you try to fix this, or you try to work this out with this person, but you felt you feel at this point that you cannot. But you care for this person. This could be someone at work. Let me move these over here. This could be someone at work. Or someone... I just feel like it just didn't work out with this person. Like, a lot of you were on the same team before. And it just didn't work out with this person. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Aquarius, for those of you, Capricorn is also coming up as Major Arcana. This person is definitely a gossiper, a talker. Empty promises here, hangman in reverse. So there is no compromising or... I'm just not getting the energy like this person is going to sacrifice or really change anything about how they do things to be with you. And then the devil's energy is also representing the same situation. This person just has this way of doing things that they feel like they don't need to change their situation, their environment. This could be addiction. This could be drugs. This could be just them the way they behave their lifestyle going out at night partying every day and not really spending time with you but spending time with other people and they don't want to change i feel like this person doesn't even talk to you they they talk to other people because i'm seeing gossip here like they talk to other people about their problems I'm also seeing the Seven of Cups. I'm seeing the Star here. And I'm also seeing the Five of Pentacles. So a lot of you feel like you are by yourself, doing things on your own. For those of you who are in a relationship with this person, you just feel like you're by yourself. Like you're doing everything on your own. Everything is on your back. Even if you have children together or responsibilities, like this person is just not there for you. You have the star here though even though you are worried the star the universe is behind you there is going to be a balance but you just have to continue to have faith 
I feel like you're worried because you're losing faith, but the angels are saying continue to have faith within the universe as well. Everything would nurture each other. Everything is happening for a reason. This is what I'm seeing here. Pisces, Energy, Capricorn, and Aquarius, Major Arcana. There's going to be other choices within the Seven of Cups that is coming up for you. You're going to have to make a decision, though. These are going to be good choices for you. Look at the rainbow. I love that. I love that. Um, I feel like everything, these choices, you know, some of them are bittersweet, but I feel like within this energy, you're going to make the right one with the star next to it. Okay, so tell me more. All right, so you have the hmm, the six of pentacles here. You have the two of wands. Wow, a choice. This is a future energy. You have the death within Scorpio. Wow. And you have the knight of swords. You have the knight of wands and you have the queen of wands. Hmm, so you're a very attractive person. This is what I'm seeing. This person knows it. Because I'm getting like I'm attracted to you <laughs> kind of vibe. So. And you deserve so much. But they're not sacrificing, are they? You have the hangman in reverse. You have the gossip. You have the talker. You have the person that is making empty promises here, lose their focus very easily. There's a third party or someone that is very shady. This could be their family. This could be their friends. But I just feel like it's just shady within the three of cups. This is someone that they could work with. Um, or you worked the same like you worked at the same place at one time, but I don't feel like you do anymore. Um something about um teamwork here like you guys were in the same group of friends or something like i'm just seeing like you together with all of them but something happened where you're just not close to these people anymore and there is something shady going on there so hmm interesting and this person is untrustworthy because of the knight of swords they have the devil energy as well and the lies too are out and about the lies are not like you just know like this person like people are telling you like yeah they said this they said that like it was from them like you just know like the lies that are out you know so many things have been said um nothing is like in hiding anymore everything is just out <laughs> Oh my goodness. But the Holy Spirit is giving you a gift with the Six of Pentacles due to the Five of Pentacles. It's like that Six, that's Five of Pentacles is telling me balance is coming back because you're going to be doing this. You're going to be overcoming this Five of Pentacles despite what this person have done to you. And I'm also seeing the angels are giving you a gift of balance with the Six of Pentacles as well. So it's like you're working towards out of debt. You're working towards more money and you're going to be balanced out. There is going to be an opportunity towards your future that is going to be helping you as well within the Two of Wands or in your crossroads. This is what I'm seeing, Geminis. There's going to be an end in here too. For those of you who are dealing with a Scorpio, um, that's your confirmation right there within the death. But I'm seeing like you're not stuck, okay? You're not stuck. You're going to be blocking this person because this person is a little bit too much for you. I feel like they could be a younger Aquarius or they can have Aquarius moon um, energy or rising. It depends on how long they, they stay in that energy. So, but I feel like this is how this person is coming in. Or this could be an Aquarius sun, okay? Or it could be a Leo sun <laughs> or a Leo moon. I'm getting a whole bunch of different elements here, so.
but I feel like either way, like they know that you're attractive. I'm seeing this person coming towards you, making a lot of action towards you, despite the communication. I don't see like they're they're going to communicate with you very well. You have a lot of jealousy against you as well within this person's energy. I feel like they're making the jealousy like, you know, they're doing this because they're jealous of you. The way they're acting towards you. Um, some of you, I'm just seeing divorce or some of you are trying to get something back from this person's energy. This person is not showing you that they care about you, but you care about them. Yeah, because the King of Cups also, I believe, that also have some, like, in in the wheel somehow there was, like, air there. I don't know. But it's ruled by Pisces, so, but it also have some kind of air quality, the King of Cups. <clears throat> so I know that this is you, Gems, right here. The Nine of Swords is also ruled by you. Um, so you feel like you're in love with this person, but you're worried. You feel like this person is not going to choose you or want to be with you. This is what I'm seeing here, okay? All right, so tell me more. This is about the Ten of Cups. The future, the 1111, tell me more. The lovers is also in reverse. Gemini's, you rule the lovers as well in reverse. And you also rule the 10 of swords. So the five of wands is on the back of the deck in reverse. So I'm seeing some kind of like trying to revamp, like, take care of this five there was a lot of competitions a lot of fighting a lot of disagreements and i feel like this person had a lot to do with that they had a lot to do with that and now i'm seeing the 10 here like this is about whether or not you guys are going to be together or get back together i feel like this person is going to call you within the lovers even though they're not going to change their stripes, though, you have to understand, I don't see this person changing their stripes at all. So whoever is coming back to you, just know that it's going to be the same person, okay? Um, another thing that I'm seeing is a Ten of Swords. It's like you're forgiving this person and letting go. This could have been abusive as well for those of you, Okay. This energy that is coming up. So let's just see the numbers. I'm going to pull, what's your, I'm going to pull three or no, four numbers. I'm going to do this four times and see what your lucky numbers are. Okay. Okay. For Gemini's Holy Spirit. All right. So this could all, this could be 75. Okay. Or this could be 57. Okay. So 75 or 57. Anything else? Can we have a couple more? We have, wow, we have some big numbers today. We have 90. Okay. Or 9. All right. So one. Give me another one. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. <clears throat> we have 11. Okay. 1-1. One, one. And then your last number. All right. Let's see. Is 93 or 39. All right. So that's All right. Enough. So let's see what months you need to look out for. All right, I have March here. That's like next year sometime. Uh, September, which we're already in September. And then we have May. So sometime in, I'm just getting for most of you, it's like next spring. 
next spring is looking good for you september for some of you it should be okay as well like you should have some kind of breakthrough in september but most of your changes are coming next year spring wow all right so this is what i have for you i hope that it resonates if it does you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys